You're a wizard, Mr. J. Did, did you hear that? I'm a wizard. Guys, in this video, you're about to find out which house the good old sorting hat put me in. Now, which one do you think I'm in? In the comments below, type the house that you think I got selected for. It may come as a surprise to you, but I'm not going to tell you. You'll see at the end of the video. Be sure to drop a like. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. You guys in for a real treat. I'm gonna start the stream off tonight with finding out what Hogwarts house I am. For today, I'm taking the official Hogwarts sorting house test for the wizardingworld.com. And I'm excited. I'm excited to let you know officially where I fall, okay? Because I got the sorting hat right here. It's gonna be with me the whole time. I want you to know That we homies, you know, we good friends. And the sorting hat's going to do right by me. I also want to know, what house are you guys? What house do you fall in Harry Potter? So let's go. Let's get this going. Let's knock this out. And let's see what house Mr. J falls under. Discover my house. Oh. Here we go, guys. Here is... The Mr. J Sorting House Ceremony. What do I fall under? Choose one, river or forest. Um, I'd probably say river, I like the water. Okay. Four goblets are placed before you. Which one do you choose to drink? Uh, the smooth, thick, rich, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums, okay. Mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. Yeah, probably not. The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. Ooh. Golden liquid so bright that hurts the eye, which makes the sunspot dance all around the room. Um, probably, honestly, the chocolate one, just because I like sweets and I can't handle that. You know what I mean? I can't handle it, but like... That's what I am. I like chocolate. A muggle confronts you and says that they are sure you are a witch or wizard. Do you ask them what makes them think so? Tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx. Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. My personality... Okay, my personality, I would probably agree and like play it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, are you a wizard? Oh, uh, yeah. Would you like would you like me to do something, right? I feel like I would play it off. With this one. Okay. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? I hate cats. Don't understand toads. So probably an owl. Wait, wait. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A barn owl? A tawny owl? Snowy owl? Screech owl? Brown owl? Probably a snow owl? Yeah. Probably. Imagine. Okay. Which would you rather be? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is where it gets personal. Liked. Trusted. Feared. Envied imitated or praised man this is going to tell you a lot about your character praised imitated envied feared no trusted yes liked yes oh man that's tough out of all of them i'm gonna be honest with myself if i'm gonna be honest i gotta go with praised like as much as i don't want to admit it 
I feel like out of that out of that list, if I get like the constant praise or that constant like, hey, you're doing great. I don't know. I get kind of annoyed with that actually. I'm gonna say trusted. Truth be told, trusted. Which of the following would you most what would you most like to study? Mer people. Ooh, that'd be fun. Centaurs. Okay, I'd do that. Yeah. Werewolves. Vampires. Goblins. Trolls or ghosts. But I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of going back to my Magic the Gathering days as well. Okay. Um, I would say I've always had a interest in vampire themed things. Like Magic the Gathering, they have vampire decks, like themed decks. Uh, like Vampire the Masquerade games, the Blood Hunt game. Uh, just I don't vampire themed things I really like. So of this list, werewolf, centaur, mer people. Yeah, of this list, I would go vampires. After you have died, what would hey you guys, most like? I'm back. Hello there. Welcome back. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Party? <laughs> I mean, is that is that even a question? Party? Uh, ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you, but smile. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. That's what they think of me while I'm alive. That counts. Nope, not that. Think with admiration of your... No. Miss you, but smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. That's me. Choose heads or tails. Tails, for sure. Uh-oh! Here we go! Oh, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready to find out what house Mr. J is going to be a part of? Here we go. The sorting house has spoken, and Mr. J is... <laughs> oh, go figure, right? Pride, ambition, cunning. You probably know that some of Slytherin's most renowned members include Severus Snape, Bellatrix Strange. But did you know Merlin himself was a Slytherin? Or that according to the legend of Ribbon of the First Class Order of Merlin is green to reflect his Hogwarts house. <laughs> Guys, officially, I am a Slytherin. I am joining the likes of Draco Malfoy, Severus Snape, and he who should not be named. Officially. Man, I really thought I was going to get like Ravenclaw or something. But nope, your boy got Slytherin.